With so much going on on YouTube, do you know how to draw attention to your videos? I mean, do you know how to stop the scroll when people see your videos on YouTube? Today, I'll be sharing with you five thumbnail hacks to get more people clicking and watching your videos on YouTube. And later in this video, I'll be giving you a bonus tip and sharing with you exactly how thumbnails help improve the branding of your channel. Now, if this is what you're looking for, then let's go. Hello and welcome. My name is Tokwe Ahomashe. If you're new here and you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, how to use YouTube to grow your personal brand or business, or generally learn stuff about YouTube, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that bell so you don't miss anything. Now to the question, why is having a good thumbnail such a big deal? One thing you need to know is there's a lot of competition on YouTube and in order to stand out and draw attention to your videos, you need to be doing something extra, okay? Now, if you know how to do your thumbnails right, you can dramatically improve the performance of your videos on YouTube. Now let's dive into our five thumbnail hacks. Number one, show the subject. By this, I mean show what you're talking about in your thumbnail. But why is this important? You need people to be able to tell at first glance what your video is all about, okay? So if it happens to be what they're looking for, they don't miss out on it. Now, how do you show the subject in your thumbnail? If it happens that you're talking about something tangible or a person, then of course it's a no-brainer to attempt at least to show what you're talking about in your thumbnail. Now, if it happens that what you're talking about in your video is not something tangible or something that can be represented with an icon or a logo, for instance, a video like this where I'm sharing my thumbnail hacks with you, then even though I am not the subject, it will be a no-brainer to have my face on that thumbnail alongside what I'm talking about, maybe in text. The idea here is to let people tell at first glance what your video is all about. Now to the second hack, keep it clean, okay? Remember the idea here is at first glance, you want people to be able to tell what you're talking about. So whatever is in your thumbnail that is not adding to the message has no business being on your thumbnail, okay? So if you're using a picture, can you remove the background of the picture? And if at all you're going to use pictures with backgrounds, you need to make sure they are minimal. They should not be removing from your thumbnail, rather they should add to the beauty and the message in your thumbnail. One key tip I'm gonna give you here is to consider using plain backgrounds in your thumbnails. That's usually the safest and you can hardly go wrong with a plain background. Now, if you are getting value so far, I want you to hit that like button below and let me know. Now, let's move on. Now to the third hack, make it pop. So the key tip I'm going to give you here is to consider that thumbnails on YouTube are always super small. And so you want to keep in mind when you're designing that you're probably designing for something this small, as small as this much box, okay? So this means the face or faces on your thumbnails need to be bold, sharp, and bear an emotion. We all know how powerful body language could be in communication. And so sometimes, even with a very good facial expression, some thumbnails might not even need any text at all. And then if you're showing objects, can you make that picture very clear, bold, and sharp? Now to hack number four, use a few characters, okay? If you're using words on your thumbnails, please keep them below five words, okay? In fact, the fewer the words, the better. Remember, you are designing small. Also, you don't have to use words. You can use illustrations, question marks, exclamation marks. You don't have to use real words, but whatever it is, use a few characters and avoid fancy fonts because, hey, nobody's gonna see it, okay? By the way, if you just learned something new about thumbnails, let me know in the comment section below exactly what that was. Now to hack number five, keep left. Okay, this is my own left. <laughs> this is probably your right, but your left, okay? Keep left when you're designing because on YouTube, 
you always have the timestamp there that blocks a portion of your design. So you want to make sure that you don't have anything that's important being covered by the time stamp. Now to my bonus tip on how thumbnails can help improve the branding of your channel. Now thumbnails help your branding on YouTube and if you can be consistent with a particular design concept, probably a particular set of colors on your thumbnails, over time you become more recognizable on YouTube. I can't count how many channels I know their videos when I see them even though I can't remember the channel names. I know that this is this channel's video. Why? Because the channel is consistent. So if you want to quickly create resonance with your brand, with your channel, you want to stick to a certain style for your thumbnail so that anywhere your video pops up, people know that, oh, I've seen a video from this channel before. Let me check this out again. Now, having great thumbnails is just one way to brand yourself on YouTube. Now, if you really want to learn how to brand and customize your YouTube channel in order to improve engagement with your audience and also maximize your results then you want to check the video in the description below where i talked about the new customization feature on youtube and how this can help you a whole lot the video is also up here in the card section and you can grab this video right now okay so that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and until then keep showing up and keep crushing it bye